Hello, welcome to Economics Melody. In this video, we will discuss about the partial correlation and semi-partial correlation. In our preceding video, we had discussed about the process of calculating inverse of a 2 into 2 partition matrix. We had seen two different but related methods to calculate the inverse of 2 into 2 partition matrix where the matrices in the main diagonal, they were square. Similarly, in the partition regression, we calculated the beta estimate making use of this principle. First, we partial out the effect of variables in one matrix from the variables in other matrix and then we run the regression. In this process, we partial out the effect of the variables from both the independent as well as the dependent variables. And if the matrix X is partitioned into X1 and X2, we can always calculate the inverse of the partition matrix we can always calculate the inverse of x transpose x which is a partition matrix which we have seen in our preceding video now the concept of partial correlation and semi-partial correlation lies in this process of parceling out the effect of one variable or variables from the other variables here we are taking a matrix w and we are partitioning it into matrix x and a variable individual variable z and matrix x it contains the constant term as well as other independent variables and z is our in individual variable similarly the vector d is the vector of beta estimates the ols estimates where b is the beta estimates related with the variables in matrix x and c is the coefficient or the beta estimate for the individual variable z and here b is the vector of beta estimates where c is the beta estimate of individual variable and we present a linear relationship between dependent variable y and w and if we substitute the value of w and the beta estimate then we get a partition regression and we need to calculate the coefficient of the partition regression and we are focusing on this individual variable so the coefficient c can be calculated is so let us practice what does mz mean here we are trying to partial out the effect of x from z so this is the residual when we run a regression of z on x this x here we are parceling out the effect of x from y. So this is again the residual of y when we regress it on x. We are well aware of this concept by now. Similarly, if we have to calculate the value of this beta estimate, then this would be equal to. So what does mx mean in this case? So we partial out the effect of z from x. So in that case, for each column of x, we run a regression on z. So we are partialing out the effect of z from x. Now to calculate the partial correlation, this partialing out the effect of one variable from the other, this is going to be very, very useful. So let us see the general correlation coefficient so this is our general formula so to calculate the partial correlation coefficient first of all we establish a system and here this is our system there are other variables except y and z and here it is x and from these variables y and z we partial out the effect of x and we get the residual term that is the residual term when we partial out the effect of x from z and the residual term of y when we partial out the effect of x from y and we take the correlation coefficient of these two variables or these two vectors so this is what we mean by the partial correlation coefficient from both the dependent variable and the individual variable we have partialed out the effect of other independent variables so this is our partial correlation coefficient and for semi-partial correlation coefficient we partial out the effect of x from the individual variable z while we take the dependent variable in its normal form that is without partialing out the effect of x from it So once again, for the normal correlation coefficient between dependent variable and z, we don't care about other independent variables. We simply calculate the correlation coefficient in its original form. For the partial correlation coefficient from both the dependent variable and the variable of interest, that is z, we partial out the effect of other independent variable, that is x, and we calculate their correlation coefficient in normal way. And to calculate the semi-partial correlation coefficient, we partial out the effect of x from the 
individual variable z but we don't partial out the effect of x from the dependent variable y now let us see the example of this concept in stata so we are considering 21 observations and we have our dependent variable y as well as we have taken four independent variables is x and we are taking another individual variable called z first of all we are going to partial out the effect of x from y so x here means the four independent variables so we run a regression of y on these independent variables and then we calculate the residual and that residual has some portion of y y which has no influence of the independent variables and we have partial out the effect of those independent variables from y similarly the variable of interest that is the individual variable z we are going to partial out the effect of x so we draw a regression of z on x and similarly we calculate the residuals now this residual term it does not have the influence of x now let us calculate the correlation coefficient of y and z in its original form and we store the value in the variable variable named C correlation YZ. Now let us calculate the correlation of the residual when we regress Y on X that is from Y this dependent variable we have partial out the effect of X with the variable of interest that is Z after partialing out the effect of x so this is again a normal correlation once we partial out the effect of x from both y and z and then semi partial correlation coefficient we calculate the normal correlation and from the dependent variable we have not partial out the effect of x while from the variable of interest we have partial out the effect of x and we calculate the correlation in the normal way and we store it by the name ESP or YJ that is semi partial correlation coefficient between the variable Y and Z dependent variable Y and the variable of interest Z. Now let us display the result. So the stata command to calculate the partial correlation coefficient and semi partial correlation coefficient is given by p core this command p core and our dependent variable y other independent variables related with x and the variable of interest that is z let us see what is the result for so the partial correlation coefficient of the dependent variable with z this is equal to minus zero with this value and your semi partial correlation coefficient is minus 0 0.06575 and we have already explained how to calculate it manually following the process we have discussed today so let us display that as well and compare them the normal correlation coefficient between y and z it is minus 0 point this value and the partial correlation coefficient it is equal to minus 0 0.706 the derived value and the value from stata we get the same result and the result for semi partial correlation coefficient is also same so to calculate the partial correlation coefficient we partial out the effect of other variables that is independent variables from the dependent variable and the variable of interest and we run a simple correlation so partialing out or getting out the effect of one variable from others this is the main concept behind calculating the partial correlation coefficient and semi partial correlation coefficient so this is it for this tutorial thank you very much for your time thank you very much econometrics melody